Established in 1951, National College of Ireland is a government-funded, university-level, not-for-profit institution. The ethos of NCI embraces the understanding that education can transform lives, empower, accelerate careers and open up new opportunities. Through its state-of-the-art campus in Dublin's International Financial Services Centre, National College of Ireland offers a wide range of courses for postgraduate and undergraduate students seeking world-class education in computing, cloud computing, information systems, business, accountancy, human resources, management, marketing and more. National College of Ireland has become a preferred destination for international students, including students from India. Over 50 students from India have walked through the doors of National College of Ireland. On 7th October 2012, the Sunday Times University Guide for 2013 reported that National College of Ireland is best for jobs, ahead of larger universities like Trinity College Dublin and University College Dublin. The newspaper stated the National College of Ireland is sitting pretty with 96% graduate employment. The key is in its solid links with industry. Graduates from NCI programs are entitled to receive significant exemptions from relevant professional bodies and are a highly sought-after pool of graduates. Seminars with leading figures in Irish business and a series of company presentations take place throughout the year. National College of Ireland has built close relationships with institutions in India by forging academic relationships, memorandum of understandings that make it possible for students from partner institutions in India to transfer to National College of Ireland. Currently, NCI has MOUs with institutions in India, namely Netaji Subhash Institute of Management Sciences, New Delhi, Vignan University, Guntur, KL University, Guntur, Chaitanya Engineering Group, Rajamandri, and Indo-Asian Academy, Bangalore. In 2011, four students from Vignan University saw career opportunity in the MOU with the National College of Ireland. Hemant Som, Suraj Chavada, Yeshwan Sai Ram and Arun Kumar studied first and second year of B.Tech in Computer Science in Vignan University and transferred directly to the third year of B.Sc. Honours in Computing in National College of Ireland. Little did Suraj and Hemant know then that they would soon be doing their internship in and be members of the team of a company that would go on to win the Docklands Innovation Park Annual Award 2011 in Ireland. Hi, I'm Suraj and I'm from India. Hello, I'm Hemant and I'm from India as well. We are studying at the third year in the National College of Ireland and we are pursuing the BSc Honours Computing course. The journey all began when we heard about the chance of getting into the National College of Ireland directly into the third year uh, when we were in the second year of our college in back in Vietnam University and then we thought of why not Ireland and when we came to know about National College of Ireland and all their courses we thought that this should be the best thing to do from now on and therefore we decided to take this path and now we are here. The journey so far has been outstanding, it has been awesome, it has been challenging and it has been really good. Work placement, also known as internship, is an integral component of BSc Honours in Computing at National College of Ireland. In their third year, second semester, students need to do six months internship in a company working under real-time environment. National College of Ireland proudly boasts of 100% work placement in 2012. 
all students from BSc Honours in Computing got work placement opportunity in a range of companies including Microsoft, Intel, Cybex, Lucy Technologies, Wells Fargo, Dotmobi, Infinite Technologies, Altan Technologies, Deloitte, PricewaterhouseCoopers, eBay, Porsche, Vodafone, Bank of Ireland and many more. Yashwant got work placement in True Pivot and Arun found work placement in Latif Social. Suraj as well as Hamant got work placement in Altan Technologies. Just after four months of arriving in National College of Ireland. One of the highlights of the course here was uh, the internship, which was uh, which started uh, in the uh, as soon as the first semester here ended. We joined here in, in the third year, and as soon as the first semester ended, we uh, we, we were placed into some uh, some company. We had some interviews, and we had joined the internship by January 2012. Yeah, that's the most highlight of the entire course is that you get an internship in directly in the third uh, in the third year and in the second semester of your third year, which is really the best thing which can happen to any graduate at this particular level. And uh, most importantly, we just came to this place and after just completing the projects and exam of the first semester. And during the first semester of third year itself, we were guided and molded by the third year department and the NCI and they really picked us they picked the best out of us and we were able to we went through a lot of we went through a lot of interviews and we went through interviews and we were able to make into the make uh, we were able to get into into the interviews and we were placed in the third year and the first semester itself and as soon as the first semester got completed um, we were given the dates of joining for the internship and then it all started and we were started our part with our internship and that's the most important thing because internship is something which really gives you the real industry touch and uh, during the first month of our internship as uh, in the, during the first month of internship as well we got uh, uh, our company won the best company of the year awards in the Talkland Innovation Park for the for the for its new idea, for its all new concept, and its customer the customer focused product. The, the product which we our company which we are developing is more into the customer side, and which which really looks into the needs and requirements for the customers so it was really a grand event and it was a great night and we especially felt very nice and very proud to be the part of the company as well as be the part of that particular night because we saw what was because that was pretty unreal for us and especially in the third year of your second semester you never imagine something like this happening to you and, uh, and working for the project which, for, for which the our company was awarded was really a, a very good experience for us because we were working on that project we were developing the product for which the, we got the best innovative idea award so that was a really good thing for us and all these events keeps on in improving all your skills because the skills are not just about your knowledge or just not about how you how good program or developer you are it's all about how it's it's expanding your knowledge expanding your things we were if we were we, we get to know a lot of people you get to know a lot of the best brains in the country and that's how you improve and you keep on growing as a student as a employer so that's the best part of it initially when we joined our internship it was unpaid but uh, we, uh, we started working on two aspects uh, of computing uh, we, we were doing some developing work as well as some testing work so uh, we work 40 hours 
a week uh, in, for our internship in which uh, we do both development and testing work together and uh, we are being pay, uh, paid for the testing uh, testing work uh, testing aspect of our job and that, uh, that is on an average we are paid 10 euros per hour the dedicated careers and work placement office at National College of Ireland is instrumental in not only lining up companies for work placement, but also in preparing students to be successful in interviews. Caroline Kennedy is the careers officer in National College of Ireland. So I suppose the importance of an internship can't be understated because employers, when they look for graduates, if they've two CVs on their desk, and one person has practical work experience and the other doesn't, the person who nine times out of ten gets called is the person who has an internship under their belt. So this year in 2012 we've placed all of our international students on internships. Two of them actually went to Ulton Technologies who won Technology Company of the Year only a few weeks ago which was fantastic, they were all at the awards ceremonies. We had about 65 students on placement this year in total, some of them with companies like Microsoft, O2, Telefonica, ESB, Dublin Airport Authority, and then a number of them as well with Irish software startups because software startups in Ireland is a huge growth area at the moment. Going by the proverb, if you fail to prepare, you prepare to fail. The Carriers and Work Placement Office advises students on making a winning CV, harnessing the power of social sites like LinkedIn, interview facing techniques, do's and don'ts in interview and grooms students to face work placement interviews with confidence. The careers office of National College of Ireland are entirely uh, responsible for your internship because they are the one who keep on sending you the details and information about the companies and people who are looking for the internship and they tell you everything how to prepare for the intern, how to prepare for your interviews, what kind of questions are expected from every now and then. There are regular meetup sessions which they organize and they keep on describing and helping you in every possible way how to prepare your CV to how to present yourself in the interviews right from the beginning they take charge of you and till the end till the very end uh, when you till the, the very end you get your internship they're always there for you to keep you motivated and keep you pumped up every week we had a work placement session every week to us we had a work placement session in which we were guided to how how our C, how our CV should be how a cover letter should be and guided us how you would be giving an interview us our interview skills were tested and improved and uh, this is how we made, uh, make up to the internship and this is how we made it uh, and this was uh, we got a lot of support from the placement office here in National College of Ireland. Brendan Lally is the work placement officer in National College of Ireland. At the National College of Ireland, uh, our students are placed in a variety of companies from the smaller tech startup companies to more well-known names such as Microsoft, Dotmovi, Intel, Lucy Technologies, Infinite Technologies, Later Social, uh, Wells Fargo Bank, O2 Telecoms and Cybex and many, many more companies. As a career expert here in the National College of Ireland, we place a lot of emphasis on the student CV. Um, the student CV is at the core of your career. It has to be a, a world-class document, a sales document, and typically, you know, we want you to display your information clearly, concisely, and professionally. Um, we normally, you know, will place the necessary information that employers will want uh, to see: your visa, your work, your work permit status your career, career aim at the start, your most recent educational qualifications. Um, if you have strong academic results, we would suggest that you place them on, on the first page. Your achievements in societies and competitions, uh, both inside and outside of college, and then to list the, the programming skills that you are competent in. If you have project work in college, it is very important that you put that um, IT project work in your CV. If you don't have that, 
project work, you should start to think about it um, and, and getting that experience. Um, a trend at the moment is to put your project work online. So in an interview, you can turn to the PC and show this project work to a prospective employer. Work experience is relevant. It doesn't matter if it's not IT. Uh, you need to show that you're a responsible individual uh, and that you have a strong work ethic. If you don't have uh, actual paid work experience, any experience in societies or volunteer work is relevant. Um, they are also interested in your, um, your, your hobbies and your interests. If you have achieved in a sporting environment, please put that down. Um, and basically we will guide and, and help you through the, the process of developing a fantastic CV. Uh, the advice I would give students uh, when going and applying for, for companies uh, at CV level and in the interview is to display a passion for technology. That is the common theme that all the employers come back to me uh, and that is, is what they're looking for in a student. They want to see the projects that you're doing in college um, if you're not covering technologies on, in, in your course in college, they want to see you covering those topics at home. They, they, they want that energy to come across. They don't want students that are just passengers sitting through a, a program. They want you driving your career. They want you to know why you're studying the course and where you would like to work. They want you to have an opinion and they want um, to see this on a CV. And that's the type of CV that ultimately they, they requested for interview. After completing their internship, students return to the college to study the fourth year, that is, the final year of the course. The specializations students can choose from are networking and mobile technologies, software systems, gaming and multimedia design, and the very latest cloud computing. The journey so far has been excellent. Um, every day is challenging, every day is new task. Um, Each day we learned something new. We came up with some new ideas. We, we learned new things each and every day from every, uh, each walk of life. Yeah, we, we gained each day. We, we, we found ourselves productive each day. We learned a lot of things which we never thought that we could do. <laughs> right from cooking to cleaning to everything because uh, once you are here you are independent and you need to do everything on your own. Yeah. You have to take the responsibility of your own. You have to grow mature, you need to be understanding and uh, you have to take the cocoon and come out of it and you need to be your own. So it has been challenging, it has been really good. Talking about the key features of our course, the course is entirely practical based. Um, PBL, which is called the problem based learning, is especially very useful because you get the hands on experience with the things the, in a remote, much more realistic manner. And the projects, the real life projects which we do in our course, and uh, most of the modules are 50% of the course, and 50% of theory, and 50% of the project. Uh, as soon as we arrived here, we were given three projects, which was uh, uh, which was completely different from where we came. There we had no projects till our fourth year, but here we have three projects as soon as we arrived here. So it was completely practical, and uh, that was uh, something new for us, and we le we learned from that. It was a practical experience, and we gained a lot from it. Uh, most importantly, the continuous assessment which keeps on happening throughout the semester really keeps you going and it kicks you the best out of you. So that was pretty good about the course. The four students from Bignan University had the unique opportunity of familiarizing themselves with the change in teaching methodology even before leaving India. Paul Steins, Program Director of BSc Honours in Computing, travelled to India and lectured the four students in Vignan University campus itself for a week. As part of a memorandum of understanding between the National College of Ireland and Vignan University, I went over to Vignan to present a series of lectures to some of the students from Vignan. And as part of the lectures, we we use an approach called problem-based learning which 
which really engaged the students. And from my experience, what I found was that this, the students at Big Nan were, the performance was outstanding. And in, in fact, their work was so impressive that what they had achieved in two days typically takes a full semester back here in Ireland. There were four students that came over from Big Nan University, Hemant, Siraj, Yaswant and Arun. And they are currently now on internships with, different, with various companies. But as part of the, the, that internship, they'll work in the Irish industry for six months. When that's completed, they'll come back and continue their studies in Forger, where they'll undertake a significant project, a significant practical project that will culminate in the skills that they've learned both in Big Nan and at the National College of Ireland. In problem-based learning, students utilize knowledge gained in the classroom to solve real-world problems. The motivation to solve a problem becomes the motivation to learn while the teacher acts as a mentor and facilitator. Hello, my name is Michael Bradford. I'm a lecturer here in National College of Ireland School of Computing. Um, today I'd just like to talk to you a bit about the, the undergraduate programs that, that we have on offer um, within the School of Computing. Um, specifically, how it caters for, for Indian students coming across to Ireland. Um, in third year, for example, um, and throughout the modules, uh, we employ various different techniques in order to engage with industry and to make sure that we're satisfying actual relevant industry requirements throughout the semester. Um, one of the techniques we, we use extensively here in the college is problem-based learning, and we actually use problems from industry to actually guide the students through development of the use of the technology and implementation of those technologies as well. Um, so for example, in a lot of the technologies that we're seeing coming online at the moment, a lot of them are web-based and um, to do with developing web applications using a multitude of different technologies. We don't actually isolate ourselves down to one specific technology. We try to broad sweep of program development and um, utilize, for example, .NET, Java, and some of the more sort of um, open source programming languages such as Ruby, PHP. Um, so the program is quite extensive in the technology students are exposed to, um, and we are pinning it down to, to relevance to industry also. Um, moving on into fourth year, um, students will have the requirement to choose an elective. Um, and just to, to underpin how we're actually catering for the current environment, cloud computing is becoming a major sort of paradigm shift in computing at the moment. And NCI have created an elective um, stream for cloud computing, which will gear the students for industry if they continue on into industry after undergraduate level, or also into some of our master's courses, the MSc in Cloud Computing, which we'll be bringing online in September, and also our MSc in Web Technologies, which caters for the software as a service in Cloud Computing also. Um, as part of the third year program, I, I should also say that we have an internship, um, in which students are placed with actual companies here in Ireland in the Dublin area. Um, and through that they get exposure to the technologies, but also to working in um, an environment, a technological environment, dealing with other people, working in teams, and actually progressing plans through to development and implementation. Dr. Leo Cassie is Director at Centre for Research and Innovation in Learning and Teaching at National College of Ireland. And I think with, with learning, specifically in the area of computing, uh, we face a, a very special challenge and the challenge is an old one it uh, really goes on the way in which we either have knowledge that we use in books theoretical knowledge or we have practical knowledge the ability to do things and we find more and more in today's world because it's changing because of the impact of new technology that what employers are looking for are students who come out with competences and with the ability to solve problems and with the ability to practically apply knowledge. So when we develop our programs, we're not just looking about theory, but we're looking about the practical application of theory and in authentic contexts. And by authentic, we mean real problems, real world situations that students will encounter in their future careers. So um, a local employer uh, approached me and he said, look Leo, how do we get our students um, or how do we get our employees to be good at solving problems, to be good at dealing with situations that they have never encountered before? And I really explained that it's, it's about developing what we call higher order thinking skills. And that's the ability to think conceptually, 
to be able to transfer thinking from one situation to another and to be able to deal with novel situations and to prepare our students for that kind of world of work we do just that we provide them with novel situations problems that they've got to solve authentic settings laboratory settings that are close to what they will encounter in their future careers so it's very much a hands-on approach it's very much around developing the higher order thinking skills in our students and preparing them for a future in work a future that we can't even predict at this point in time what it will be like that it's going to be so different in the future that the best we can do and what we should do when we're preparing our students is to show them how to extract from the present as much as possible how to be the best possible thinkers and how to be the best possible uh, uh, at dealing with new and novel situations and that's the teaching approach we have in National College of Ireland. State of the art infrastructure guidance by some of the world's most renowned faculties and collaborative learning with industry awaits students from India as they prepare to study in National College of Ireland. Students will also have access to a well-stocked library with numerous books, reports, access to journals and paper periodical titles. The on-campus food code serves a range of cuisine that meets the specific requirements of students from different cultural backgrounds. Since NCI is located in the city centre of Dublin, it is close to off-campus accommodation and grocery stores. Dublin Luas, the equivalent of local tram service, stops right in front of NCI, making the college accessible with ease from almost every part of Dublin. National College of Ireland believes that students should have a rewarding, fulfilling and an enjoyable learning experience both personally and academically while at the college. Uh, till now our experience in Ireland was pretty good. It was completely new culture, new experience and uh, it was a completely new experience for us. The people here were also very supportive. Yeah, it was totally new, new place, new people, new culture, but it was pretty easy and the things were made so comfortable for us that we were easily able to gel ourselves to this new place. And people are really, very supportive. Everything is pretty much very good and same as we felt, same, uh, the same touch we felt here. The dedicated student services department ensures that this belief becomes practice. To this end, we have provided a range of services to offer advice, support and encouragement. Sheila Mahan is the international officer in NCI's international office. I'm the first point of contact for all of our international students who arrive in Ireland and arrive at NCI. I meet with the students and on your first day here, we register you. You'll get your student card and all the documentation that you need to get you set up in Ireland. So that's setting you up for your visa, for your bank account, and for any of the documents that you might need. We then go and organize and get you set up for orientation here at NCI. It's really important that as students, you arrive in plenty of time for your course. So you can settle into college life and acclimatize to life in Ireland and at NCI. It'll make sure you get the best experience um, for your college and for your journey here with NCI. It is with students' welfare in mind and to have first-hand understanding of their aspirations and career goals, the top management of National College of Ireland has invested significant time and resources to travel to India multiple times to interact with students and faculties. Dr. Philip Matthews, President of National College of Ireland, has travelled to India to take into account all the changes students face in the period of transition from India to Ireland. 
I recently returned from a trip to India uh, where we visited a number of universities and engineering colleges and we met with faculty and students and I have to say I was very impressed with the ambition and the career aspirations of many of those students. I think that the programs that we're running at NCI will represent a very good fit for those career aspirations. National College of Ireland not only allows you to think independently and creatively, studying here will even give you an opportunity to live independently, making you responsible for your actions, thus bringing the best out of you. For me, I guess this is the best thing which could have happened to me and global exposure is a need of the hour and that's what I get, got when I came to Ireland. Uh, it's more than just uh, about studies and it's more than about, more than everything else, it's about how I'm evolving in the past six months, how I'm taking charge of all my responsibilities and how I'm handling the situation. Every time Suraj and Hemant walk to National College of Ireland, they are taking giant leaps towards securing their future and preparing themselves to be leaders in their chosen career streams. National College of Ireland is where you could live your aspirations because this is where you could make the most of your potential.